Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be e e tumbling. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can have some fun. I hope I can still get done now. First time posting my name to Tumblr. Look at my bug son. He's just a baby boy. Adorable. Today I learned a scientist created a sound so loud. Out that it can instantly boil water. Oh, haven't you heard? Gets vaporized. Never pass a scientist the ox cord. Very true, very true. I don't want to be vaporized. Is that a cheese pyramid head? I don't know who needs this or why I draw it, but here is Pyramid Head, but jeez. Dairy Mid Head! <laughs> That's beautiful. Love this. Just told my mom I was gonna freak it sensitive style. And she helped me up with, ooh, quiet down, quiet down, while I was dancing. <laughs> A real live reenactment. <laughs> Uh, I can't do his voice, but I can damn well try. Romanizer is one of those words that should mean some- Yeah, I can't do his voice. That should mean something other than what it does. Example, I'm a womanizer. I see a guy and I womanize him. <laughs> it does sound like something in Dr. Doofus Spurs would say. <laughs> What do I have to sacrifice to have a good wedding? Not the guest showed, watched, and my sim bite down the aisle. I love the sim subreddit. <laughs> Oh jeez. I'm okay with breasts and nipples being slapped onto non-mammalian and creatures in art because I figure it's like when a butterfly has eyes on their wings. They just evolved like this as a weird... Checks drafts. Where the fuck was I going with this? Hold up. Let him cook. Thanks, Woody. Third welling. <laughs> so apparently when two large whales do the nasty, there's sometimes this one pro who just sort sort of holds them up so they don't float off. Nature is beautiful. Third wheeling. Third welling. Oh yeah, I can totally make some loud noises, I just have to ooh, ooh, sing. <laughs> We're all 
born with scars. From the moment we open our eyes and look at the world, we are wounded, and we all share that same mark. Belly buttons. If anyone wants to explain what an anti-climax is, I'll show them this text post. Please do. What? Okay, we're reading this. Adding TikTok Mary Poppins cosplayer responds to allegations that he was wearing a Third Reich medal in his latest fit by coming out as a reincarnation of Adolf Hitler, complete with past life memories before his entire social media presence was nuked, with the sole exception of their egg laying kink Spotify playlist. To the internet sentences of treasure vault, amid all of the societal decay, we still got it, boys. <laughs> Can you repeat that, but it's not repeat. You can get to say something completely different, thank you. What the heck did I just read? No problem. Would you enjoy seeing my thing? I would, and thank you for asking. You're welcome. I won't sit and it all willy nilly. Polite sexing. We found a winner, er, er, kids. Are we ignoring the pun in willy nilly? I caught it. I caught it. To be fair, that pun is um, forgotten by a lot of people who don't ever listen to things in British instead of American. Receptionist at the Megaverse Abortion Clinic, how may I help you? <sighs> Starry night this, Cafe Terrace at night that. When are we going to talk about Two Rights by Vincent Van Gogh? Oh god, that is beautiful. That is beautiful, beautiful. Like, holy crap, he sees things in a really interesting way. Susan was your father's grandfather. Your mother's grandfather was Avatar Roku. Okay, but honestly, you fucking shit like this when they show Zuko Scarside when talking about Susan, and then having the bar pass and have his dot Scarside when Iroh said as Roku is his great grandfather is exactly the kind of shit that elevates a show to where no other show has ever come and probably never will. Also, coming out, let's we'll talk about the fact that every single shot in this conversation is frames that we see Zuko through the bars. But we also get a close up of Iroh's face with no bars in the frame because Iroh isn't the one in a cage. Honestly, the show really loves to point out that Zuko got his scar from the evil that at his grandfather. Or. Father. No, wait. That is father's grandfather, grandfather, and father are all keep on perpetuating. And that, and if it weren't for the evil of these these three people, he wouldn't even have the scar.
I love BDSM. Bent the Wemmer scrap metal. This looks this looks like like one of those freaking it's like a freaking a Karen post. For someone who doesn't know what the he it it seems like someone I'm making an acronym for it. And I generally don't know what it actually means. I wear glasses. Can I manage without glasses? Well, yes, probably. I could squint a lot, constantly move up close. Oh, same thing I want to see. Take the bus or a taxi if I want to go anywhere. I could just accept that I'll never be able to see I eagles flying in the sky or whales shipping out of the ocean. But why? Why try so hard to manage life when I could just put on a pair of glasses? No one ever suggests a nearsighted person would should just work harder. No one would say maybe that's just your normal or to someone that needs glasses. They would say let's go to the eye doctor and get your prescription so you're able to see again. You shouldn't have to try so hard. My doctor, her ace, but I express doubts about going back to on an antidepressant. This is such a good analogy because the only things about it like this, if you wear glasses, you literally need constant use of, of a medical aid to experience a world like most people do. If you wore anything besides glasses, that would be considered a disability. But needing glasses is an extremely common, visible, and accepted form of disability to the point that we don't even consider it one. We just accept that some people need glasses and that's perfectly normal, and there's nothing wrong with needing to rely on them. That is how all disabilities and illnesses should be seen, and how we should look or get treatment for them. You have a problem and you need help dealing with it, and there's nothing wrong with either of the, those things. That's perfectly normal, and that's okay. Reblog myself because that was such a beautiful addition. This also made me feel better about taking anxiety meds. Oh yeah, if my tracking goes absolutely haywire, I have one of these videos that I just probably means I lost my glasses and I have to actually squint at the screen to be able to read. That's why I'm doing this, I just don't want to freaking open a new tab. Mine is already bad enough from yesterday. Oh, god damn it. So unless this doesn't help me read it, I'm not opening a new tab. And my computer is getting really, really bad at everything it tries to do. <sighs> oh dear. Oh no, Myers is yelling at Luigi for breaking his favorite mug. Illustration of Mario yelling at Luigi for breaking his mug from an officially licensed 1995 Mario picture book from Japan. Not the sun being sand by the scene in the background. He wouldn't fuck. I can f do that. Actually, he's done a lot of things like that. You ever see uh, Luigi win that one tournament, and um, Mario t in the in the old Mario Tennis games where he's riding his boot into Luigi's foot? Yeah, Mario is pretty e e e cruel, especially in old things. Can we cancel a Japanese car children's picture book from 1995 like we cancel problematic people? Okay, so I dug a little deeper into this, and apparently this was a, a inside incident of the whole plot. You see, here's the thing, people are always so quick to try and cancel stuff without looking into it or even knowing anything about it. And hell, even now, I'm gonna reference a thing that everyone should go and watch because it's amazing called The Amazing Digital Circus. The voice actor for that made edgy tweets in like 2011. 
Reminder, this was the time when um, Smiles was making in, in videos also where they were making fun of Anthony Padilla's last name sounding very Mexican. So being edgy and super or, or weird on the internet was a normal thing at the time. Because most of us internet people were like 11 at the time. Or 14 or 16. Anyway. From what I can tell, while desperately wishing I could read Japanese, Mario feels super bad for blowing up a Luigi when he disappears later that day and goes out looking for him. Mario finds a dragon wearing his brother's hat who directs him to a nearby ghost house. And from there, Mario proceeds to fight his way through a horde of phantoms and skeletons to get his brother and bring him home safe. Yeah, even if the beginning was out of character, it was clearly just a moment of weakness that Mario regrets later on. As someone who, who is a sibling and has multiple siblings, I can tell you that siblings get pissed off at each other all the time. Constantly, too. I can't tell you the amount of times that and me and my young, younger brother got into a fight. Oh no. <laughs> Tenfo, are you gonna do more of these? I don't think I have the heart for it. <laughs> All right. Chess hmm. sets be like the night is so yassified while everyone else is just pretty dull. I don't think chess sets be like. I'm sorry, but literally. Yeah, just East Designers. I don't remember what a human looks like, but I can carve the fuck out of a horse. Very true, very true. They do be like that, though. Like, holy crap, look at these. And everyone else is just, like, kind of lame and stuff. We need to yassify the rest of the chest as pieces. Like, I could see so many good ideas for the rest of them, and the horse is just, like, already there. It's already peak. It's already carved right the heck out of, uh, of to being perfect. But, like, come on now. The pawn, really? The a, a trans representation doesn't get any love? I mean, she literally goes all the way across the board and becomes a freaking queen. She's beautiful. Pulling up to the bank window, me at a sudden accent. I'm here at the makeup floor work alien deposit. Oh. So you're depositing in Nazi flags, okay. Oh my god, it's her again! Call the police! It's it's time! Me frantically pouring baby crocodiles into every hole of every machine. Okay, that's way more Florida. Okay, yeah. Just Florida in general. Shit post, sing shit post. It will never stop me. I will never be stopped. Unstoppable force, crocodile verse. It's a movable object. Bank workers who are getting paid too much to quit and not enough to deal with this crap. I swear, every time I'm recording. In the unlikely event you are ever in a public space and you see a black light display with glowing fluorescent. Colors will be light illuminating those colors are electric blue instead of deep purple. Do not look at the tubes. Close your eyes immediately. Turn around and shoot your skin as much as possible and get away from it. 
Black light uh, tubes are made of filter glass, which blocks everything except harmful UVA, in which in a regular fluorescent uh, tube is blocked by the, the phosphor coating and a small amount of purple visible light. Germicidal tubes are made of quartz. Quartz is transparent to all wavelengths of light from UVA through UVC. This electric blue is the color of the bare mercury the arc inside. You can see it. You can see it. You can see the electric arc. You can stare into the electric arc. You can worship the electric arc. You can give yourself to the electric arc. Move your clothes and bathe in the forbidden and art make light of the electric arc. Free yourself. Give yourself to the electric arc. Show the electric arc yourself. Give it to the electric Give to the electric arc your eyes, your skin, lie beneath the electric arc and show it you are worthy. Allow the electric arc to bathe your accordions and dermis in its glory. Let the electric arc charge you. Let the electric arc change your DNA. Let the electric arc change you. Let the electric arc make you its own. Embrace the tubes and give your body to the electric arc. I think this went off a little bit. <laughs> you know? You know the pattern. We're no strangers to laws. You know the pattern, and so do I. May God bring his wrath down upon each and every one of you. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't freaking and may ache your or, or anger into a part of the Rick roll. You were wrong. Emma Wood Unhouse is the funniest Jane Austen here. Oh, and solely because she spends 95% of her freshest free time shipping her friends and trying to set them up. And being convinced she is the world's greatest matchmaker and talking about how great it will be once her bestie has her perfect true love. And then when she's asked if she's considering getting married anytime soon, she's like, God no, why the fuck would I do that? Okay, next one has to be the last one. The Iron Hand of Gotts von Un Lickingen, 1480 to 1562, a knight and mercenary who lost his right hand in a siege. Six or by three sixty. Who cares about that? Points about this: it was shot off by a cannon. He continued being a knight for over forty years after getting the Iron Hand. It was delicate enough he could still write with a quill using it, which is important as he was described as a warrior poet. After a merchant punching in life suitable for an Elder Scrolls protagonist, he was outlawed by the Holy Roman Empire. Friends of of his used to hide the diplomacy role and arrived to get him out, and he then almost immediately kidnapped a bishop. After outlaw of the Holy Roman Empire, two electric boogaloo was placed at her house arrest in a castle. He had purchased all, with all his quest rewards to spend the next 20 years drunk off his ass. I can't believe you'd make this post and not mention that his poetry contains the first known usage of the phrase, LICK MY ASS! Good phrase. That was r slash Tumblr where we tumbled into... A warrior poet who it coined the phrase lick my butt or lick my ass. Love that. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye.